African Lion, U.S. Africa Command's premier joint annual exercise, kicks off in Morocco, Tunisia, and Senegal for its 17th iteration June 7. With more than 7,000 participants from nine nations and NATO, African Lion is U.S. Africa Command's largest exercise. The training is focused on enhancing readiness for U.S. and partner nation forces. African Lion 2021 is U.S. Africa Command's premier, joint and multinational annual exercise. African Lion is an excellent example of the United States' long-term commitment to Africa and recognition of Africa's strategic importance to the United States, said U.S. Africa Command Commander, U.S. Army General Stephen Townsend. African Lion 21 is a multi-domain, multi-component, and multinational exercise, which will employ a full array of mission capabilities with the goal to strengthen interoperability among partner nations and enhance the ability to operate in the African theater of operations. This exercise is all about readiness. Readiness of our partners, and readiness of our forces. It brings together various ideas, experiences, and capabilities ultimately making us stronger partners and a more capable multinational force, said Townsend. African Lion activities are spread across Morocco, from Kanitra Air Base in the north to Tan Tan and the Greer Labouihi training complex further south. Activities are also occurring in Senegal and Tunisia. An air training exercise, coordinated by the U.S. Air Forces Europe and Africa, will feature U.S. and Moroccan air maneuvers including bombers, fighters and aerial refueling. Naval maneuvers include a naval gunfire exercise and multiple sea-based maneuvers involving U.S. and Moroccan navies and crisis response capabilities. U.S. Air Force airmen from the Utah Air National Guard will conduct a humanitarian civic assistance event in Morocco. Utah is partnered with Morocco as part of U.S. Africa Command State Partnership Program. There are 15 African nations in the State Partnership Program. African Lion is key in building and strengthening partnerships in the region, said Townsend. It provides an opportunity for mutual learning between the U.S. and our African partners and benefits participants by strengthening interoperability and collective efforts towards enhancing security and stability throughout the region. In Senegal, U.S. and Senegalese militaries will demonstrate their combined capability to rapidly deploy and integrate in response to a crisis. In Tunisia, U.S. and Tunisian armed forces will conduct command post exercises and small unit tactical training. The importance of training and ability to learn how to operate in a COVID-19 environment made African Lion 21 a priority. COVID-19 has not changed our focus on engaging with our Africa partners. Due to last year's cancellation of African Lion, we had a head start in planning this year's exercise, said Townsend. We understand how important this training is to our forces and our partners and how to better operate in a degraded COVID environment. We will ensure successful training while taking necessary COVID-19 precautionary measures in order to do so. The U.S. Army Southern European Task Force, Africa, assumed lead responsibility of Exercise African Lion in 2019 from the U.S. Marine Corps. Major General Andrew M. Rowling, the U.S. Army Southern European Task Force, Africa Commander, and the U.S. Army Europe and Africa Deputy Commanding General said during the launch ceremony at Agadir that African Lion 2021 is the largest U.S. military exercise ever conducted on this continent. This exercise has undoubtedly reached a degree of maturity that attests to the strength of cooperative relations between our respective armies, said General Belker El Farouk, commander of the Moroccan Army's Southern Zone. However, Spain, which is traditionally one of the exercise's major participants, has withdrawn its support this year. Madrid has officially cited budgetary constraints as its reason for withdrawing from the 2021 African Lion, the Spanish newspaper El Pais wrote. Nevertheless, the actual reason was the Spanish government's disagreement about Rabat legitimizing the occupation of Western Sahara. Spain has decided that sending soldiers to these exercises would legitimize the Moroccan occupation, El Pais wrote. Adding to the rift with Spain was the inclusion of the town of mobs in the exercise, although U.S. AFRICOM did not mention the town as part of the exercise. The town is the location of a 1985 battle over Western Sahara.
Mobs is about 100 km away from the town of Tindouf in Algeria where the headquarters of the Algerian-backed Polisario Front military forces are. The Polisario Front is the resistance group that wants to split Western Sahara from Morocco. The issue of Western Sahara is just the latest in the confrontational relationship between Madrid and Rabat. Morocco has grown to view Spain as no longer a viable strategic partner. Just recently, Morocco allowed several thousand people to cross over to Spain's North African enclave of Ceuta, over which Morocco claims sovereignty. The exercise carries on despite the Spanish absence. The exercise takes place in several locations in Morocco, including Agadir, Tifnit, Tan Tan, Mobs, Tafraud, Ben Gurir, and Kanitra, as well as in Senegal, Tunisia, and Germany. U.S. and Royal Moroccan forces, have been joined by the armed forces of Brazil, Canada, Great Britain, Italy, the Netherlands, Senegal, and Tunisia. In addition, military observers from 30 countries are present. Online, online. Get online. Get online. 